Well, hello, Lion Hearts. It's your old pal Jordan the Lion, and yes, we are back at Graceland again. Yep, I wanted to keep sharing, and you're gonna have to keep watching if you want to see more of Elvis. So, Days with Jordan the Lion begins now. All right, on to the Elvis Army exhibit. Check this out, it's got his name on the duffel bag. Here's Elvis's army fatigues, and these letters are from Tom Parker while Elvis was in Germany telling him what he's working on for Elvis's career while he's gone. There he is getting his hair cut. Elvis's army issued helmet. And his military driver's license. There's his selective service card. In the paperwork down here are deferment letters asking for Elvis's army enlistment date to be pushed so that he could finish filming King Creole. Here are Elvis's army issued hats. Then this one's called Elvis's Eisenhower suit. There are Elvis's official army fatigues right there. How cool is that? You can see a lot of wear on it over the years. There's Elvis's chest with his official dress uniform behind it. And it says that these bongos were gifts to Elvis from Priscilla for Christmas for 1959. And it says these cases, these were used to ship his personal belongings back home. And this was the jacket that he wore coming from New Jersey to Memphis on the train coming back home. It was also used in the Welcome Home Elvis. You can see it in there, the Welcome Home Elvis documentary. Now it says that jacket was given to Priscilla when Elvis was uh, leaving Germany. And then that is the blazer that he wore in the shirt that he wore in the press conference of Welcome Home Elvis. There it is, there's that jacket. And there's Elvis's honorable discharge. Now this is an archive room. You can actually go through all those boxes and look through the material if you want. There's a bunch of his old equipment, amplifiers and recording equipment. Now it doesn't say, but these are probably the helmets that Elvis bought in, uh, well, he bought some in Memphis and in Hollywood because he liked all the Memphis Mafia to play football games together. And he liked to be the quarterback, so he went and got them all uniforms and helmets and everything. I'm guessing he saw Robert Goulet on TV. Look at that bullet hole. It is no dream. <laughs> Check out his books. Yoga, Gone with the Wind, and the Holy Bible. Look at that belt buckle in the middle. That elephant. That's amazing. Good taste. Oh yes, we have to see this one. Here we go. I see the gold lame suit. I can't wait. There's the nudie suit. That was the key to the city that Tupelo gave him. There it is. Elvis said that the suit was so heavy he couldn't wear the jacket because he couldn't dance with it. 
And that is his 1956 Gibson. It says this was the very first official All Elvis magazine in 1956. And here's a wall of his gold records from 1956 to 59. Jailhouse Rock. All shook up. And then all of those checks are charity donations that Elvis made, including to St. Jude's right here in Memphis because Danny Thomas started St. Jude and Elvis was Danny Thomas's neighbor in Los Angeles. Oh, see, I spoke too soon. There it is. Looks like he had a standard of always giving a thousand dollars. Every check on here is a thousand dollars paid to someone else, someone different. And here we have a bunch of the movie costumes. His 1962 Kid Galahad robe. There's the front of the Kid Galahad robe. That is his Jailhouse Rock shirt. The oil painting from the movie. And then his script. It's a promotional flag. So of course here, if this looks familiar, it's because it's the Elvis and Anne Margaret Viva Las Vegas jacket. And Elvis actually won a close-up award that year, 1962, for Best Actor of the Year. Here's his award. And this is the entire suit that Elvis wore in It Happened at the World's Fair. And then that's awesome. That is his Western outfit from Charo, along with the holster and everything. And you can see right where the leather meets the buckle, the leather has split over time. Unless it was in the movie like that, which I don't remember. Pretty cool. Then he got some awards for it, including a Silver Spur Award. And the blue jacket is from Live a Little, Love a Little. And then the red one is from Spin Out. Something written on the little uh, thing, but it doesn't say Elvis. I can't tell what it says. Guy made a ton of movies, and it was really only because he was under contract. He didn't really enjoy doing it after a while, and when the contract was up, that's when he went back to performing. Said he missed performing in front of people. He liked the energy of people. Pretty awesome display of costumes, though. Look at that. Oh, cool. Look at the vest. From this 68 comeback special which is just amazing. That is one of the best specials of all time, hands down. He's having so much fun yucking it up with all the fans. Whoa! The leather wristband from the 68 comeback special. That's really cool. And that was called his Guitar Man outfit from the 68 comeback special. Oh man, that makes me want to go home and watch it now. That thing is such a great special. There's his blue NBC chair from the special. Now this is cool. They have the original outfits up there as well, but the stage is a recreation just for the effect, to kind of give you a visual. But look at that, man. There's the leather that we see him, well, right there on the TV wearing. Probably the most famous thing from that special that he wore. There is the original. That is unreal. Oh man. That is humbling to see something that just amazing, that well known, that monumental. So if anyone wants to argue, you can argue with Graceland whether this is the real one or not. And then the red one they call the gospel suit. Which, you know, he had to. He had to do gospel, he had to do country. That's, you know, he liked all the, everything. He liked everything and he put it all into his music. So, what was he gonna do, not? Not do gospel, not do country and just be a one-sided artist? And then there's head to toe, the If I Can Dream outfit. Look at that sucker. Whoo, all the way down to the boots. Look at those boots. And there he 
is wearing it during the show. That display right there is just absolutely amazing. And there he is in full lean back with the leather on. Look at the fans, look how happy they were. How could you not be? Look at that guy, classic. Now let's move on and see what's in here. Oh man, look at that. That might be the most famous one of all time. I ordered a pair of shoes that are gonna look exactly like that. <laughs> and a bomber jacket to match it. This cape was worn by Elvis during the satellite concert Aloha from Hawaii. In the middle of his performance, Elvis threw out the cape where a lucky fan caught it. The cape made its way back to Graceland when Andrew Kern donated it back to the estate after his death. That's the actual. Then there's the back of the suit, which matched the cape. That is totally, totally cool. I love it. Tupelo shoes worn in the hayride. Presidential medal. Freedom. Whoa. A Derringer and a Beretta. Those are the kind I like that Pearl handled. And in the VIP lounge, they have Elvis's gold plated bedroom phone. And that's his wallet. Pictures of Lisa Marie. And back in the VIP lounge, they have his uh, personal clothes, which are amazing. There's the back. That's his red phoenix jumpsuit. Look at the back of that, man. That belt. Like a dashiki type deal here that he wore. Look, you can see the American Eagle necklace there. And then in the center one, it says Elvis. This is all in the VIP area. They have a Sun Records exhibit here. I didn't really want to get into because there's so much, but they have the actual piano that Elvis played during the Million Dollar Quartet night, so I had to show you. That's just too cool. Well, that's it, my friends. We are done for today. Graceland has ever-changing exhibits. There's countless rooms to check out here. I will definitely be back because there's always something new to see. I can't wait for my next trip. Till then, have a great night and goodbye from Graceland.